Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News with me, Katura King. My next guest, Funke Shonekon, is the founder of the Young Adult Professionals and Entrepreneurs Network, which is a professional networking platform that's focused on linking upwardly mobile professionals and entrepreneurs from all industries through social networking, exhibitions, workshops, and seminars. As a young professional herself who has worked at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, W Hospitality Group, MTV Base Africa and Delta Airlines, she realized the power of a good network in getting ahead faster than her peers and began to host networking events to help young adult professionals and entrepreneurs do the exact same thing. The positive testimonials poured in and the results have been astounding. Today, Funke will be giving us key tips on how to raise our networking game to lead the business pack. Welcome to The Morning Show, Funke. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning. So we're talking about the power of social media networking, right? Now, what tips would you say? Give me your, let's start with your top five tips that a person should engage in in order to get ahead business-wise. Okay, um, thank you for having me on the show this morning. Um, the first thing is to be prepared. Um, it's always good to basically know what it is that you're doing. You need to know why. So that's tip one, be prepared. Be professional. Yeah. The most important thing about it is that people will take you as you take yourself. Mm. You have to be professional. You also have to be confident yes. in what it is so that you're important. doing. Um, Would you advise being confident if you haven't done any research? Blagging it? Well, you can't, you can only go so far with that. <laughs> okay. You know, because at the end of the day, I mean, time reveals everything. Of course. So. Um, you have to have clarity. Mm. That's very important. And um, timekeeping. Fantastic. <laughs> These are things that, you know, you should know, but you kind of forget, you know. So timekeeping, for example, we just think it's an African thing to run late and it's acceptable. But not if you are trying to impress someone, you know, in a business relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that you said that. Thank you so much. Now, why did you feel the need to set up your company, the Young Adults Professional Network? Well, I studied international hospitality and tourism management at the University of Surrey. And um, after that, I realized that when I graduated, I realized that a lot of people would always call me and say, Funke, please, can you connect me to this person or can you introduce me to this person? And I thought to myself, did I actually know all these people? So I had to look <laughs> inwards. So I was having um, coffee with a few friends and I can remember the day clearly. Um, I was saying that, you know what, because I enjoyed meeting people, I enjoyed right. organizing events. I said, you know what, rather than me always answering you one by one, mm -hmm. why don't you all come together and meet yourselves? And that is how the idea started, right. which is basically, and even the name, Young Adult Professionals and Entrepreneurs, I was like, well, young, you know. We're adults. We're adults. We're professionals. We're professionals. <laughs> but my friend said, actually, I'm not a professional. I'm not in a nine to five. I'm an yeah. entrepreneur. So I said, voila, young well, we'll professional. Like that too. <laughs> yes. So what has the reception been like? It's been amazing. I can imagine. Um, it's actually interesting because even with the word clarity, when I um, started my networking events, it was everything all together. It was networking, it was exhibitions, it was workshops, and it was seminars. Right. And it was a bit confusing for everyone. And then I just decided that um, it's better to kind of separate it and put it into categories. Right. And each category has come about through my own personal experiences. So it's not really about um, being a problem solver, which is not a bad thing, it's negative, but I was creating solutions. Okay. So with networking, I realized that with the contacts that you have and the people that you know, you can actually, you know, as um, Alanta said earlier, your network is your net worth. Yes. Um, <laughs> with exhibitions, I found out that a lot of people had business products and services that they had whilst being in the nine to five career. Right. So I wanted to create the opportunity for them to um, showcase those products and services. And then with workshops, whilst working with people, I've, I realized that also people didn't have a lot of um, skills. So I wanted to give them the opportunity to build capacity. And um, seminars, it was just basically saying that we can actually learn from other people's experiences ahead of us. Right. And they can share their real life um, you know, experience with the next generation. I love that. So you seem to have different themes for each event. I mean, you've even got speed dating. Tell me about that. <laughs> Where did that idea come from? That came about, okay, so we do our yearly um, plans okay. of what it is that we want to um, achieve for the year by setting goals. 
but um, we're also very flexible. So the speed dating, it was actually because one of our networking events, we had um, two individuals, male and female, who just, they met themselves. Right. And thereafter, I get a phone call from the guy saying, thank you so much for the opportunity that I met this lady and we've been dating since. Aww. And I was like, if you guys, well, not if, when you guys get married. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Just, you know, the power of networking. And we saw one of your flyers for the power of networking on screen now. Yes. I just saw that the registration fee was 4,000 Naira. Do you think that the price point is what is affecting your popularity? We've done research. I mean, it's actually 5,000 now. now. Okay. Um, the price tag is basically, I just realized that in life, if you don't place a value on something, mm. unfortunately, there's so much you can do with that as well. So I had to put a, um, a price um, value on it. And then also it was to act as a filter. Right. We didn't want it too expensive because we didn't want to restrict the number of people that would actually say that they wanted to pay to come in, right. but we also wanted to get serious-minded individuals to come okay. for these events. So right now, the price point is 5000 hour per person, per That's event. Brilliant. But we also get some deals on where if you bring five people, you get one person in for free. I love it. So I'm definitely going to be looking for five people. Call me if you want to attend this event with me. Now, you come from a very entrepreneurial family. Mm -hmm. Listen, in fact, you're actually allowed to Tari Coker's cousin. So will you share this, the history of entrepreneurship in your family with me? Mm, well, all of us, I mean, well, not, okay, some of us, um, we've all had experiences with nine to five as well, but I find that we're all trailblazers in our right. own, in, in our own area of expertise. And, um, I think we're also change agents. Mm. So there's nothing wrong with being in employment, but sometimes you can actually gain more fulfillment by being the change that you actually want to see within the organizations. So... Um, it, it, the family is a good support system I as well. I can imagine. So. When everyone's doing, they've sort of led the path for you and cleared it, if you will, and now it's yours to forge ahead. Yes. It's brilliant. So with all the knowledge that you've gained, you know, being the head of this the social media entrepreneurship uh, skill set, wh what would you say that you've learned along the way? And what sort of things would you do differently if you had the chance to start all over again? Well, Yapanyu, we have the concept called the five Cs. Okay. And the five C's are, first of all, you have to come together and you have to connect. Right. That's the first C. And um, once you've connected, the second C is you're going to talk, which is to communicate. Okay. And um, in life, you find that, you know, we're all unique in our own ways. And the reality is that working with people is, you know, a good way forward, which led to the third C, which is to collaborate. Mm. And... You know, my strength, your strength is different. We're going to co-create, which is the fourth C, and that's for change. So it's connect, to communicate, to collaborate, to co-create for change. I love that. <laughs> Say that one more time, just so our views, make sure we've all got that. Do the five Cs. Okay. <laughs> so create, connect, no, connect. No, connect. The first thing is you have to connect with the person. Mm -hmm. Then you, you have to communicate. Right. You have to talk. And then the third one is to collaborate. Okay. Because... The more you collaborate, <laughs> it's a ripple effect. There's so many things you can achieve through collaboration. Then the fourth is to co-create. Because by coming together, we're co-creating yes. something. And I always say it's for positive change. So ah. it's connect to communicate, to collaborate, to co-create for change. I love that. Thank now, you. as a CEO who has done business in Nigeria for many years, tell me about some of the challenges that you faced as a young entrepreneur. The challenges are ongoing. <laughs> But it's actually... You look quite scared to say that as well. <laughs> I mean, it, it is. It, it, in Nigeria, it is difficult. But I look at it as an opportunity, you know. Um, I think, you know, sometimes you just realize that even failing is actually not a bad thing. It's feedback, you know, yeah. because you go back and you, you look at what you've done right and what you've done wrong, and mm -hmm. then you evaluate those experiences. And I, I, I mean, my, my slogan now is just keep it moving. I love. <laughs> keep it moving, just keep doing it, you know? Now, a lot of entrepreneurs are risk takers. Mm -hmm. What would you say the greatest risk that you've ever taken has been? Has it paid off? And would you ever do it again? Yes. Uh, <laughs> the biggest risk was to leave employment for me mm. because, um, you know, you have a safety net of knowing that you're getting paid at the end of the month. Yes. So... 
being an entrepreneur, it's not always rosy. <laughs> and if you want the financial independence, you need to understand that you have to make some sacrifices. Yeah. Um, would I do it again? Definitely. And I'm still going to keep trying, and I'm still going to keep doing it, and I'm just going to keep moving. Keep so, it moving. Keep it moving. Slogan of the year. Hashtag keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So in terms of impact, because it seems like you are quite an impactful person, what are you looking, what, what sort of impact are you looking at leaving on your Africa with yap and &E? With yap and &E? yap and &E? <laughs> That's actually a conversation starter, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite good at this networking thing. I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> you are, actually. <laughs> It's interesting because I started off with wanting to be in all the states in Nigeria. But through the power of networking, it's going global. So I'm not limiting myself again to just Nigeria. I've hosted events um, around the world. And um, the important thing is through the power of networking, the opportunities that have come about is amazing because, I mean, I was at the European Economic Summit and I was the only African person, wow. you know, representing Africa. Well, actually, only Nigerian person representing Africa. Wow. And um, I looked and I was like, what an opportunity. And it was through the power of networking, just talking, you know. So um, with Yapani, it's going global. I mean, I, I can't limit myself. <laughs> I can't limit myself because at the end of the day, I mean, we can have someone in Asia, for instance, saying to me through the power of networking, why don't you come and host networking events? Then wow. I'm thinking, why not? All the way in Singapore? <laughs> but, you know, why not? Why not? It's so, phenomenal. Yeah. So, for those of my viewers that want to keep up to date with you, find out how they can attend your events, mm -hmm. how can they do that via social media? So you can um, log on to our website, www.yapande, as in Y-A-P-A-N-D-E.com. Okay. Um, you can follow us on social media on, on Instagram, and it's at Yapani. You can follow us on Twitter, it's also at Yapani. Nice, so, and, yeah. nice and simple. <laughs> nice mononym to remember. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, Funke. We're going to see later on in the show because we're discussing famous failures. Do you know any? Okay, we're talking about that later. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> time now for a short break on The Morning Show, but stay tuned because when we return, it's time for our take. Don't go away.